This is an MSI Gaming Series laptop, which has had the problem of the distorted audio in Windows 10. And it appears that the distorted audio is a, a problem with Windows Build 1607. And it's been quite a, a problem to test this because I've not found a way to easily revert back to the prior version of Windows before 1607, which was 1511 from about the summer of 2016. Well, it's April 2017 now, and we got the 1607. And it looks like when 1607 installs on a computer, it updates the recovery volume that's used by Windows 10. So when I go into the settings and it says restore your PC back to factory settings, I end up still running 1607. I cannot get back to the prior version of Windows. After poking around at this thing, I discovered that MSI has their own recovery image that's different and not used by Windows 10. This is accessed by pressing F3 while turning on the computer. Um, although to get to this on a computer running Windows 10, you actually have to restart Windows 10 and then press F3 while it's restarting because when you turn off Windows 10, it isn't really turning off. It just goes to sleep. And when you turn it on after that, it just is waking up. It's not really res um, starting like Windows 7 used to do. So you have to choose restart in Windows 10 to get here. So now at this point, I have now done the restore using the, the MSI recovery via F3. And so here we say Windows recovery is successful. And so now this will actually be Windows 1511, which I will now set up and do a test of the audio problem. All right, here we are with Windows 10 version 1.5, or I'm sorry, 1511 from the MSI factory restore image. And I do not want this to immediately start updating itself to the most recent build. So I have set up Windows 10 on here with the Wi-Fi off, so it will not automatically start doing updates in the background. And then also I went into the um, Windows updates here. Here's Windows update. And I have disabled the service so that it will not begin updating in the background when I enable the Wi-Fi, which I'm about to do. So this will, this basically castrates the update process. Oh, and then Microsoft says that they're going to force you to run updates. Well, if you go in services and disable Windows Update, it ain't going to be updating. It's, it's, it's frozen. And so if we look over here at Winver, we can see this is version 1511. OS build 10.586. Dot three one eight. All right, let's enable the Wi-Fi and test the audio. All right, now for the audio test. I went into the audio properties for the speakers, which are the Realtek High Definition and Audio, and check the output level for that. It's at 100 for the audio output. I then click the balance button and it shows me that it's 100 for left and right. We also check the volume mixer and it shows me that the output is at 100 for all of the mixer outputs. We then install Google Chrome and we go to the YouTube no copyright music library so that I can do an audio test here without having a copyright infringement against me. And we check the output volume here and this is also at 100. All right. So now we're going to play this music and see what it sounds like. And then also I'll just mention that this is a gaming laptop. This has what they call premium sound. So that in addition to having a left and a right speaker, there's also a speaker in the middle that's it gives it a better mid-range. You don't really get good quality low frequencies without a really large speaker, but the mid-range in here does improve the output of this compared to a cheap business laptop it doesn't really sound tinny or quiet so let's give this a try
Seemed like a pretty good example song. It's got a wide sonic range, lots of different stuff going on in there, so that should be a good demonstration. Next, we go back into Windows Services to Windows Update and allow it to do its automatic updating again. And we will just let it update to the most recent build version and we'll run the test again. Windows updates are in progress. Turning away. All right, here we are after Windows has been updating and installing and doing stuff for the last two to three hours. We're now at version 1607 where we were before. Nothing else has changed on this computer. If I check the audio it says audio volume is at a hundred. Um, let's see. If I click on YouTube here, check the volume here. Volume is at a hundred, same as before. All right, let's play some music. The same thing that we were listening to previously. here notice that it is overly loud and it is crackling on the really high notes and also we seem to have lost the mid-range tones out of this thing it's now more the high tones um, so the this is apparently only caused by the upgrade from the previous version of Windows 10 to the current one
pause again here just to note that it sounds like the speakers are damaged due to the way it's crackling like that or there's a hardware problem but as you can see from the previous video where I restored it back to the factory settings it sounds fine with the previous version of Windows 10. The 1511 version does not have this problem but upgrading to the current 1607 is what does this. Nothing else has changed on this device. I've not changed any other software or any other settings. The only thing that has occurred is the update from one version of Windows 10 to the next. I have checked for driver updates and there's no newer driver available for this version of Windows. So there appears to be something wrong with Windows 10 and uh, there's currently no solution for this. So something needs to be done here and I don't know what. It appears to be something that perhaps only Microsoft can fix. Um, I'm not even sure Microsoft is aware that this problem exists which is part of the reason why I'm recording this video.